Hi, I'm David Ditzler, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Shape Oco CNC milling machine with the DC Quiet Cut Spindle. The best reason to upgrade the Shape Oco with the Quiet Cut Spindle is it's quiet. Another reason is that you can control it by software. And the third reason, and one of my favorites, is that it can take a variety of different sized cutting bits. Compared to a standard rotary tool, the quiet cut spindle is very quiet. We have a rotary tool. I'm going to put it right here next to the other one. That's at full speed. So now I'm going to turn on the spindle, and you could hear that. Setting the spindle to the maximum, now turning it on. We've already covered how the quiet cut spindle can be controlled with software in previous videos, so let's take a look at the collets. The quiet cut spindle uses industry standard ER11A collets. By changing the collet, you can hold different diameter bits. To use the collet, simply snap it into the collet nut from the backside. Once in place, it will be securely held. To remove it, simply press to the side at the back of the collet and it will pop out of the collet nut. When installing it on the spindle, make sure to install the collet nut by hand at first to ensure that it is not cross-threaded. Then by using two wrenches, make sure that it is snug, but don't over-tighten it. You may have noticed that after mounting your quiet cut spindle on your Shape Oco, that the bit does not go low enough to cut some materials. To fix this, you can change the mount in one of two ways. The first is to lower the maker slide on the Z-axis. Notice that the maker slide is flush to the bottom of the plate. To lower it, you are going to have to loosen the two screws on the top of the maker slide and also two on the bottom located under the gantry. Once the screws are loose, you can lower the maker slide so the bit can touch the table. You can see how much the maker slide is below the gantry plate. Now square up the maker slide and tighten the screws back up. The second way to mount the spindle is to swap the position of the mounting block with the Delrin nut. To do this, we are going to remove the upper mounting block, making sure not to lose the screws. We are then going to remove the two screws holding the Delrin nut. Once that is done, we can let the plate lower to the table. This will give us better access to reattach the mounting block with the same holes where the Delrin nut was located. After that, turn the threaded rod to crank the Delrin nut up higher. Line up the holes and then reinstall the screws. This is also a quick way to install the spindle because we don't have to re-square the z-axis and it also gives us more room under the gantry. I hope you found this video helpful and please leave a comment and subscribe if you found it useful.